All right, Atomic Heart, here we go. Fixed all the glitches. We're playing maximum uh, quality. No DLSS. None of that BS. Let's give it a go. Play it on normal difficulty. Sure. Hey, we got music this time. No audio glitches. I like it. Oh, we're going to have some fun, baby. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chelome complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can oh. even go on rides afterwards. <laughs> Chelome City floats on the Icarus platform. A feat of modern science and technology. This city in the clouds was built in 1950. Leading scientists from all the other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. Assuming this is like some Bioshock like uh, experience. Oh shit. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? Uh, you fuck right off. Now get the hell out of here. It's just performing its function, I'm sick to death of bots. Always up in my grill. Just head for the large building. Oh boy. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. They're still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, I noticed. These pigeons are real, right? Wow, what a beautiful day. Look at that thing. With your Vovas box entree. They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? <laughs> they me lie there all day. Number three is bought. I need these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to work, you bums. Move it! Move it! Whoa! He did it! Oh, thanks a million! Hey, enjoy the celebration! Good morning, my boy. How are you? Yes. Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. How do you like the new glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail Stockhausen will get you oh. up to speed. I'll be in touch later. Roger that. to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There is a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. <laughs> Voice acting needs a little bit of work. Looks they're going for the Duke Nukem vibe. Guy moves pretty damn fast. Get your thigh device today. Get connected straight away. No sky's the limit. It's like a Wolfenstein New Order sort of vibe. Fifty five is an official vendor of the Soviet lottery. Buy a lottery. Buy a copy of the facility Herald, comrade. Breakthroughs abound. Biology, robotics, gunsmithing. And just in time for universal polymerization. 
You can't stop progress, huh? That's right. Doesn't it fill you with pride? What's new in robotics? The way things are going? In five years, robots will be completely indistinguishable from humans. I don't know Legacy about that. anthropomorphic models like me will receive a complete polydermic makeover, making them capable of extremely subtle facial expressions. One day you'll be buying a newspaper, and you won't even realize you're talking to a robot. I'd rather be able to tell who's human and who's bot from the get-go. What can you tell me about gunsmithing? I'm asking, as a professional. There's a brief piece on new weapon systems. Something about Comrade Kalashnikov revisiting Gauss's work on magnetism to improve modern electromagnetic weaponry. They say he's expecting to increase oh, the power of factor of three to five. Hmm, I wouldn't mind taking that for a spin. At a shooting range, of course. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Take it easy. A newspaper. What the hell do I need that for? In case you're unaware, our newspapers are a source of information. I've got a talking glove on my hand. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. It's Elon. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No thanks, I'm just browsing. No thanks, I'm all set. Jesus. Good day, comrade. Come closer. Oh my God, it's no another one. I'm all set. Got Moby over here. Moby disrespect. seems so happy and content just like in china you've been to china <laughs> to everywhere i mean everywhere except for china i guess facility 3826 isn't all that far from our chinese allies i like their spirit and i hear it's nice there it's a robot if you ask silly questions it'll fry your fanny how rude <laughs> Plus, robots can't fry anybody. It's against their programming to harm a human being. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, we'll see about that. Slow down, son. Slow down. I'm so happy. I love this song. You fought in the war, comrade major. Did you just remember something? No, I can't remember shit. I've been drawing a blank ever since I got injured. It's like there's something stuck in my head, but I... I can't figure out what it is. Crispy critters, man. Fuck. Watch your language, Major. We're in a public place. Yeah, whatever. Hey, doing good there, Tony.
still can't believe the stars can be so close. It's as if I can reach them. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct order. Welcome, Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this moment on, just inject a special neuropolymer encoded with the education you want. A university-level natural sciences curriculum, for example. And you'll instantly become an educated member of society. Want to learn Korean? Or get a doctorate in nuclear physics? Or learn to play the piano? With Collective 2.0, you can! Yeah, 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 been there, done that. Show none. Four, Playbot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Sure. Oh, this shouldn't hurt. You have just upgraded your glove with scanner functionality. Using the neuropolymer as a conduit, the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system. Especially your eyes, polymer retina. To activate the scanner, just make a special gesture. Please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it. The palm of your hand should be facing the object. Contract all the fingers on your hand, except for your thumb and index finger. Extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner. Holy shit, bot. Who designed this thing? The Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Left alt. Let's do it. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with this. It's new like hardware. the voice actor you are now from uh, of seeing hidden objects. Postal. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Oh, that's terrifying. Comrades, the address by the Director General of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenov, is about to begin. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenov, and this is Facility 3826. A warm welcome to your future. Today, we stand on the brink of the greatest event in the history of man. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolutionary finish. And we're a fun to change the world. No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look at how our beloved Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Thanks to my invention of neuropolymer, the process of genetic adaptation, it has now become possible to launch a worldwide 
all-encompassing version of the, to the lobby of that high-rise company, Major. At last, we are waiting a network of humans and robots. Humans will be able to control machines with their thoughts alone, and finally, we will be free to forget the difficult, tedious drudgery of unskilled labor and dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf so of all, glad to see you are taking it easy, Comrade Major. I the car is waiting. You, you must go to Dr. Sessionov's office for the access the neural code. Connector. He left with one of his bodyguards. Yeah, naturally. You will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for all mankind together. Uniting the intellects of all individuals into a powerful mind free of all boundaries. Thanks to the Thought Neural Connector, you will control robots with your mind. Mastering academic I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. You will no longer need control panels, cumbersome communication. Oh, sick. Documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace everything. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. Want to learn a foreign language in a minute? Master quantum physics in a day. Memorize literary masterpieces from around the world. This all will be possible once your thought neural connector is installed right here on your temple. All communication between your brain and your personal thought device is made possible via a tiny injection of neuropolymer at a local center for polymerization where you will also receive your thought device in five minutes. In just five minutes, you'll become the future. I thought this game was supposed to have ray tracing. As a citizen of the mighty Soviet Union, join your compatriots and undergo polymerization today. Stand with Collective 2.0. Learn how to control robots with your own mind and explore space. Reach the pinnacle of evolution. The global launch of Collective 2.0 Marvelous Network will be on the 13th day of the month of June. Talk about style. Science Woo! and power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect Concord. There are no obstacles. Seven cannot forty-seven than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We can take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, Einstein. What would I ever do without you? Section off here. Sorry I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind, not for myself. Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, Dr. Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one step at a time. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Or are we? This 
Uh oh. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Is this car gonna take off? Oh, baby. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0. Yeah, with I just came from one of them. Every I get city. it. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of robotic Politics workers from that. the South. We've got plenty of Amen. devices. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? That's more like it. Not worried about any bird strikes, huh? What? I see you finally begun your assignment. And it's been less than an hour. Sehr gut. Jawohl, mein Führer. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Holy shit. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any respect for brown nosers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough, but why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the Condor. One time some genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Impressive. Yeah. Flying in my car, not going very far, going too far, gonna drink. Kind of hanging on that beat there. This is Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour.
Directly below is Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire BDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev Use the uh, hydropower. ...connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Vavilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Muhina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. Oh. Major, the Trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Oh shit, oh shit. What? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Your safety. What the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. You have reached your destination. You are now at the laboratory eight of the facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Vavilov Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. Oh, what the hell are I you slipped. doing, you lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator is now operational. Fuck off, bitch. Nice. Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again. Uh-oh. Oh, help me, Comrade Major. I'm falling. What the shit? And dead. Game over. Credits. Oh, there's more. Killing me. Ugh. All right. Well, thumbs down.
Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. But nothing here is the way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him and bring him to me alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him and bring him to you. Exactly. Session of out. Get some! on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal with that. Where should I start looking? Petrov is currently somewhere in the underground levels of the Vavilov complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, let's do it. Help! Somebody help me! Hey, you! I'm coming! Get away from me! Ow! Oh, go fuck yourself! Get the fuck off me! Nice. What are you gawking at? Almost choked to death there. Give me a hand. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Oh. You should be more careful. This place is a damn madhouse. Yeah, I noticed. Uh -huh. Thanks for the help, no ma'am. No sweat, Sonny. What are you doing here, anyway? Oh, just passing through. Who are you? Me? Xena. Granny Xena. That's all you need to know. <laughs> Fine, I get it. So what's going on here? Lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is dead meat. I could really use a weapon. You got anything? Of course. But I'm not giving you shit. Beneath us is a complex. If you need a weapon, go down there. The Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's your lucky day. I'm heading that way, too. It's basically safe. Shit! It's a chilla! Son of a bitch! We've got 30 seconds! Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy! Nice! Royally fucked! No good! Get over here, beefcake! Now, no, 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 now! Take this key and turn it clockwise! I said clockwise, idiot! Uh. Like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. You've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Where'd you get that thing? No Give it to way. Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. Uh. That thing's gonna try to Shit. kill us.
go, bud. Come on. Do your thing. What the fuck is this game, dude? What a goddamn Come clusterfuck. On. There you go. to find a way to open this armored door. Gee, you think? Enough with the lame advice, will ya? Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Victor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences, dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Safe areas. Fading data. Nice. Uh, and the machines rose from. some advice. I'm kind of busy right now. Try to avoid the robot's more powerful attacks. They're all powerful. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous and may lead to... At this rate, I won't last long. That first bot really kicked my ass. Destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromed. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalakov backpack for storing items and equipment? It utilizes a quantum singularity to shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. Why'd you turn that? Dude, there's too much in this game.
Okay. Hang on, huh? We were ordered to turn it on when you got here, Comrade Muravyova. My orders are to document everything and... You can document your own ass if you want to, but you're not recording me, and let me through. And don't call me Comrade Muravyova. I'm Granny Zena to you, Sonny. Uh, but we aren't allowed to let you through, Comrade... Uh, Granny Zena? Not without authorization. Really? I was always allowed in here before, and now I'm not? Listen here. Either you let me through right this instant, or I'll come back later. And somebody else will be cooling his heels in here. What you say? <clears throat> Go ahead. That's what I thought. Dismissed. That only took forever. Remember that all experimental results are the physical and or intellectual property. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at Facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Love. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's why you're here. Thank you. 
pour myself a cup. Telling me a handful of traitors somehow managed to hack into Collective, a network created by the best minds in the Soviet Union. Technically speaking, Collective has not been hacked. No one could possibly circumvent the algorithms created by Professor Lebedev's team at the Academy of Consequences. Then why is all this crazy shit going down? The traitors introduced a false combat mode into one of Collective's algorithms that causes the central hub to see all humans as invading soldiers. And our scientists really can't fix it without Petrov. They can, but it will take some time, during which many more people will die, and information about the incident will make its way outside the facility. Eighteen boxes of candy? Pretty cool. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Facility 3826 is on lockdown. That includes the inner sector. So how am I supposed to open this door? It's locked with an electromagnetic lock. So I need to fry it with an electromagnetic pulse. How the hell am I going to do that? Your glove can be equipped with an EMP generating shock module. A capsule containing the neuropolymer required to install the shock module should be somewhere on facility grounds. Okay, I'll deal with it. My dearest B, it's too dangerous to keep leaving messages like this. This is the last one. Get ready. I'm getting my paperwork together, and then I'll be right behind you. We're going to get out of this nightmare. Yours always, L. What's up with the frame rate on some of these animations? They're like uh, keyframe animated. There's no in betweening happening. Come on, get up, soldier. <sighs> Great, just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. Yeah, I know. You're staring at her purple hair. <clears throat> Who are they? They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? She's a doctor now. That's why. You got a neuropolymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. So what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You well, got this. Where are you going? It's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! 
Shaft Larissa crawled into go. It's hard to say. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with that freaky thing on the door. A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the lock... It worked! <laughs> Shut the fuck What's up. What's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Manipulator, quick! How titillating! Rebellious dominant men really turn me on. Oh, I'll turn you on, all right. Just let me at you. What a brute! Oh, I love tough guys. I'm on fire. Closer! I can't reach her. I'm trying. I'm trying. She's one strong ass bitch. I'm at your service, sugar. Anything from my master? What can I do for you? More skills will become available to you soon, but choose shock for now. Oh, how can I resist? Now let me show you what I can do. Professionally, I mean. I've seen it. Literally. Crispy critters. I am here to help you upgrade your red-hot pocket rockets. And believe me, handsome, you can upgrade whatever tickles your face. But I can do so much more! A quick romp with your axe is just a taste of things to come, you handsome beast. Did you enjoy it, big guy? Yeah. Cool. Use this powerful weapon.
what's with the Vovas with black bodies, Nikolai? Regular VOV A6s follow my orders and are always polite. But the black ones walk around like they own the place. They go wherever they want, just ignore orders. Yesterday, one of them bumped into me and didn't even apologize. They only respond to people with high social ratings or something. Get back to me when you can. I'm a little freaked out about this. The goddamn elevators are out. What am I supposed to do? Jump down? They've no power. If you reconnect the power, they'll start working again. So it looks like I need to find a circuit breaker. But where the hell is it? I could follow the wires, but they're all hidden inside the walls. Electrical emissions can be detected via scanner. But take care. There's a dandelion security camera up ahead. If it detects us, this place will be swarming with robots. Take it easy. I can always distract it by throwing something, then knock it out with an EMP. I see. B is EMP. You got a tappy.
No? No, this stuff? No? There you Hey, Chuck. Charles. Whatever. What'll happen if word gets out about this? The Soviet Union's reputation will suffer. Soviet robots are considered to be perfectly safe and reliable all over the world. They are? Of course they are. That's why Petrov's treason struck at the very heart of the motherland. He quite literally stabbed his own country in the back. He wants the entire world to stop using our robots. That son of a bitch. The hell is that? I'm gonna grab a drink. Be right back. All right, we are back, and we got some two bitch bourbon. Mm. Ah. Now we can enjoy this game. say Monday begins on Saturday, but I'd like you to really take the weekend off. 
As you know, national polymerization is happening throughout the Soviet Union on Monday the 13th. And our executive leaders want us to put together a team of volunteers for the upcoming celebrations. Anybody who works on the 11th or the 12th will get a reprimand, not a bonus. Have a great weekend. Ugh. For me. Supply room's locked. Well, that's just fucking great. I can't just snap my fingers here. I need a key. And let me guess. You can't open this lock, can you, Charles? Unfortunately not. But I can set a waypoint you can use to find the key. It should be in a nearby workspace. You're finally starting to come in handy. Ha ha ha. Is he's my hand. How much time and effort is it going to take to fix this damn place? I agree. It's a troubling sight. Regardless, robots will be able to repair the damage quite quickly. I seriously doubt the folks here are going to want anything to do with robots after this. the circuit breaker now yep but I'm just gonna have a look around first I need some parts to upgrade my weapon I won't get far with this pile of shit I wouldn't dream of stopping you smart move Charles smart move come on can't open that one huh Ha 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 ha. 
Let's get it. Hey, let's put a cookie in there. Yeah, even locks like cookies, right? Charles? Yes? Do you like cookies? Uh -huh. gonna attack me this is a passive security system with a laser relay I've seen stuff like this plenty of times you need a color code unfortunately we don't have any codes you'll have to try to decipher it using logic seriously like I was gonna stand here until it turns off on its own <laughs> I like how much of a prick he is Head back. Told you. I like that name, Katarina. suggests the one on the right. In other words, you don't actually know. In that case, I'm taking the one on the left. Goddamn right! I've marked another waypoint for easy Woo! navigation. Mr. How Heat! Do you think I am? Skate! I know where I need to go to complete my mission. I was only trying to make things Hello. easier for you. You can make things easier by getting off my grill. You're not streaming right now, are you, Heat? Oh, no, he's not. If you recall, the door is electromagnetically locked. Are you freaking deaf or something? Pardon me, please continue. Ah. Let's see what girl has for me. Heading out one in the day. 
Nothing you would want to buy, such as tacos. Oh, hey, bud. Come on. You're going to love this. Oh, damn. Uh, I hit X. All right. Whatever. Oh, that was sick. Come on. What's up? What are you doing? Is that a horseshoe? Oh, linen. Oh, sexy bot. Victor, honey, I missed you so much. Sweetie, you're here? I'm so happy, but... How did you manage to get inside? I took someone else's papers and pretended to be one of the doctors. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that I'm here now, sweetheart. And I brought the equipment you asked for. I know that voice. Where have I heard it before? I'm sorry I dragged you into all this, sweetheart, but Sechenov's gone too far. I talked to Stockhausen. He's my friend after all. I thought he'd help me stop this madness, but the sneaky son of a bitch played me. So Sechenov threw me in um, here. Um, this thing should be it rotating. It doesn't matter anymore. I'll get you out of here. Tell me what to do. You'll have to cause a tiny malfunction in Collective. Don't worry. It's just a couple of software glitches. I've got like-minded colleagues waiting for my signal in other complexes. We're going to sabotage the facilities all at once. Then the world will finally see what the Kremlin dictatorship is up to. Then what? Sechenov will never stop looking for us. We'll flee the country, defect to the U.S. and live in luxury for the rest of our lives. Once we expose them... There's no other way forward. We have to take it. Take it where? Petrov escaped while working in Vavilov's cold workshop. It would be logical to begin our search there. So, how do I get there? First, we need to get to the distribution center. 
This cable car will take us there. Uh oh. You can swim through polymer. I've done it before. It's nice, actually. Kind of like swimming with whales and dolphins in the ocean. It's so peaceful. I suppose there's the control panel and of course it's locked you guys just love these things don't you but this is a new one a combination lock uh, it'd take me a year to guess the combo look around maybe someone has the code what a joke uh what was that they won't go without a schematic all stuck no schematic, no go. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic, need a schematic. Unfortunately, he's dead. We are surrounded by corpses. Why have you frozen just like everything here? They won't go. No, nope. won't go without the schematic. The dead have a residual neuropolymer memory and are capable of communicating for some time after death. Well, shit. Okay, so where's this diagram of yours? Schematic! The schematic, the one I need to move the cars. Where is it? The station master has it. He didn't make it. He wasn't as fast as me. He died. Everybody here is as dead as fuck. Did the station master die in this tunnel? This tunnel. He died. Everything froze right in front of my eyes. You need the schematic! Gotta find the station master. I just wish I knew where he is. Maybe I should have said thank you. Holy shit, a talking corpse. What did you say, comrade major? You know, I fought in the whole war from beginning to end. I've seen some shit. There it is. Wow, what a mission. Charles. So this isn't a dead person talking to me. It's the neuropolymer in his noggin, right? Crudely speaking, yes. As it fades away, neuropolymer memory temporarily stores the individual's last thoughts. Creepy. How long are they gonna talk for? I can't say exactly. Somewhere between a minute and a couple of days. But it seems the more time passes after death, the more corrupt the information becomes. I see. 
So the stuff they're saying isn't always that important. Poor bastards. See, there's the yeah, I got it. I hope this works. The cable car line is activated. Fuck me, he's alive. Schematic. Need a schematic. Unfortunate. Holy Sorry. fuck. No a ticket. talking corpse. Trouble figuring out how. Climbing the wall. That's how. Do you have mountaineering training? I'm a spec ops soldier. Not yeah. some city wuss riding a desk. We've got all kinds of training. I must admit, I'm quite glad to hear that. Get up. Get up. Lexus Major. You bet. I wouldn't survive without him.
charms. That was a Barov, right? A tunneling robot. Indeed it was. Barovs can drill through even the hardest minerals at incredible speed. Soviet science has high hopes in regard to our inevitable conquest of all the planets in the solar system. What are you talking about? The Burovs, our finest product. What a shame. Did you know we weren't allowed to sell them abroad, Comrade? What's so ironic about that? Oh, it's ridiculous, really. I was a roboticist here, you see. I was a Burov roboticist. When I heard the robots were attacking people, I rushed here. Wanted to switch mine off. So they chopped me up. I was killed by my own machines. The control panels got buried under the rubble. Now they're on their own, digging God knows what. Like they're sleepwalking or something. I wonder what they're dreaming of without us. Why is there a ban on exporting them? They're cutting edge city building machinery, that's why. Point them at the ground and in a month, you'll have a subway system, or any sort of tunnel. Subway is hell. It's the moon they were going to use them for. Terraforming. So their top secret and their armor is tougher than attacks. PTA plates unmarked. Cutting edge science. You worked on the Buravs? From day one. Built just about everything in here. Used to be no artificial sea. No fields, no forests or anything here. To say nothing of the cable cars. Just mountain ranges. No, hardly anyone stops to think about what it used to be like here. And it's all thanks to my Borovs. We moved mountains, built the whole infrastructure. They're tearing down what they built. They've got no idea. A machine's mind is like a small child's, you know. It needs love and care. Go oh dude. Man, do I ever love crawling through dark ass tunnels. That was a fucking hell of a ride. Under ordinary circumstances, the cable car network links all the underground sectors of facility 3826. It should be easier next time. Thanks, bud. I think I'll just hoof it on the surface. Stop. What a nice trip. Go.
I think I can handle that. Fading data. This person's about to get shredded. Ooh, a laser wall. That's some serious security. People put them up for a reason. If you see one, that means there's something important on the other side. Quite right, Comrade Major. The distribution center we're looking for is, in fact, on the other side. There's no way I'm making it through a laser wall in one piece. There's a repair vendor up ahead. Try upgrading your equipment to increase your laser resistance. Not a pervy lunatic fridge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, baby. Jeez, the guy sounds like a real catch. Oh, yeah. It's like fucking Freud. me laser protection oh so brutal i'm shaking squirt your polymer inside me don't let her boss you around we have no time to waste don't listen to all right i get it you'll get your polymer and your precious components just install the laser protection already whatever you say stud upgrade initiated relax and enjoy just promise you'll talk dirty to me again i am so gonna punch you Yes! Yes! Punish me, master! I love dominant males. Oh, gross. Alright, no problem. Your defense system is active. Ah, I can craft consumables. Alright. Punch. I almost bought the farm there. Okay. Is everything ready? Did you pull it off? 
Don't worry, honey. I'm right as rain. The operation was totally painless. Cut. You need to leave right now. There's a man coming for you. He's armed and wearing an experimental polymer glove. Must be Sechenov's guy. Larissa, did you talk to him? He was attacked by a burab. We took him to the infirmary and then... Uh, I didn't know. I couldn't just let him bleed out. Well, you should have. It would have saved us a whole lot of trouble. It scares me when you talk like that. I'll meet you at the exit. I'm right behind you, honey. I just hope we're not too late. Hope can be dangerous. We're killing him. Hands up. Victor? What's going on? You deaf? Hands behind your head. Victor! The hell are you? Major Nachaya Special Operations. And that's the last question you get. You're going to Chelemay. Victor, save yourself! Chelemay. Of course, Comrade Major. Intrusion. Huh? Intrusion! Warning. Hey, freeze! Warning. Red alert. alert. Lockdown in progress. around. It's almost like there is property. And he locked the goddamn door. The Trav ran off with a mobile power source called the Candle. It powers the emergency lockdown system. Woo! This door cannot be opened without a candle. Now I'll find another one. There's gotta be more than one candle in this complex, right? We need to hurry. Otherwise, Petrov will escape the sector and we'll have to track him down again. Charles, what's that birch tree encased in glass in the room down there? Is it the famous PEC-4 power generator? Indeed it is. The birch tree PEC-4 is a vegetative polymer-based power generator. It's an experimental model. The first step of our program to conquer the distant planets of the solar system. got nothing to be scared of. You're... dead. I know! Even back when I was alive, I saw dead people get up again. I don't want this to happen to me. I'm scared of them! Scared of what? The robots? No! Robots kill quickly and simply, but they... His lingering polymer memory is exhausted, Comrade Major. Got it. People here are getting killed by stuff other than robots. But Look what? here! I cannot ascertain. Listen. But I'd be lying if I said we'll never find out. Understood. They're in the wall! Can you hear them? Scurrying around! I'm scared! I'm really scared of them! I gotta keep moving. Keep your eyes peeled. They're even tormenting the dead! I've seen it! I've seen it!
Sick. So, do I always have to carry it like this? The candle is a complex, unstable piece of equipment. It cannot be stowed in your backpack along with your other items. There is a high probability of mutual destructuralization. Like an explosion? Not necessarily, but the candle would be disabled. So I'll have to carry it like this. Got it. The candle is quite durable. You can drop it or even throw it intentionally. Nothing will happen to it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Loaders are going nuts. Is this Petrov's doing? Be careful. Loaders are extremely durable. You won't be able to damage them with a simple axe. Shock therapy usually works pretty well on nutcases, metallic or otherwise. HR, here we go. So those two are just um, examples. I should go like that, and I'm good. Woo! Yeah, that sounds like Petrov's voice. I hope that asshole's brains didn't get splattered all over the floor. We need Petrov alive. Hurry, Major. What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Just waiting for a cinema to end. It's crazy. It looks like there was a containment breach in the algae workshop, and experimental materials leaked out. That's actually good for us. Come on. 
Oh no! Just beating my ass. My God, what is that? Once all the holes have canisters of lunar soil in them, you eggheads sure love your fancy locks, don't you? Uh. Yes, I'll go find some canisters. It's a weird song, but I like the girl's voice. Is that a radio of the future? Indeed, it is. Professor Lebedev of the Academy of Consequences has developed a non-linear algorithm based on the principles of non-commutative quantum mathematics. Charles. Yes? Who are you just talking to? Forgive me. I'll explain it in terms you can understand. The Academy of Consequences has found a way to calculate musical radio waves from the future. They don't actually pick them up. This isn't a time machine after all. What you're hearing is based on a very specific mathematical calculation. A highly complex neuropolymer-based algorithm. Neat. I will fuck you up, Charles. Well, what do we have here? Now, I've got one. Shit lady robot perv again. I'll go around her. Not so fast, comrade major. I understand that interactions with this model may be unpleasant for you, but it would be prudent to see if she has anything we can use. Fine. Oh, if I can get a good weapon out of her. I guess it'll be worth it. What's up, baby? There you are, sugar. Oh, I missed you so much. Have you dumped that stupid glove yet? Uh, don't count on it. I love it when you get angry. Yes, yes, scold me, punish me. I was a bad girl and strung up another disgusting creep. What? You killed someone again? You monster. But you haven't entered me for so long, big guy. I was so lonely. I had to blow off some steam. Enough. Will this ever end? Don't get flustered over such little things, sugar. I made you a present. You're gonna like it. I promise. I'd like to pull the plug on you, but it's too bad I can't do without your help. Oh, she let me enter her. Do you like it, sugar? I did my best. This is cool. For real. Now, could you please not kill anyone else? <laughs> I just can't help myself. Hot stuff. Well, just do your best, okay? Oh, this is fucking crazy. Yeah.
stunning head. <laughs> hey -o. is very much like Wolfenstein the New Order. Charles, what does Petrov need with the repair vendor? Why would the sicko try to take control of Nora? Why would he even need weapons? He's got robots fighting for him. The traitor realized that employees confronted with hostile robots will defend themselves, and the soldiers defending the facility will attempt to get more powerful weapons. He must have been scared someone would bump into him by accident and shoot him like the traitorous piece of dog shit he is. That very well may be. Regardless, Petrov was unable to get his hands on a repair vendor. However, Nora's algorithms were still... Where the hell is it? I've got another one. It's like the Lumiere brothers, um, Man on the Moon. Uh, base. done. I think it worked. Holy shit. This thing sucks. This place is huge. And it's got Sechenov's name written all over it. Crispy critters! They're most certainly crispy, Major. Shut up, Charles. No time for this. Warning. Microclimate abnormality detected inside the seat bank vault. Sample container integrity compromised. Oh. I'm gonna be a bad boy. I'm gonna be a bad bad boy. I'm gonna be a bad boy. I gotta be a bad bad boy. Ooh. 
Nothing?
Please select the desired procedure. Get it, baby. Woo! Cartridge gun. Sounds good. Critical security system failure. All personnel evacuate the seed bank immediately. We've all played Doom Eternal. Electromagnetic barrel. I'd buy that for a dollar. Hey, bud, come on up. Stop, stop. Oh, I thought I could let go. I know you're here, Petrov. You've got nowhere to run. I'll give you 10 seconds to surrender. He's dead. Listen to me, you brainless mutt. Yes, Agent, this recording is for you. I can hear you banging around in the warehouse. You'll never take me alive, so listen up. You have no idea what's going on here. Who's the brainless mutt now, huh? Bitch. According to biometric readings, this is Patrol. It is? Crispy critters. Woo! Shit. It really is Petrov. Uh, I had a feeling it'd end this way. 
Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Wizard here. Have you found Petrov, my boy? I found his body. He's been decapitated. A loader turned his skull into blood pudding. Damn. His head contained codes I would have used to end this nightmare quickly. I'm sorry, Dr. Sechenov. I was too late. <sighs> then we'll have to solve the problem another way. Did he have any rings on him? Two gold rings? Uh, no rings, sir. Just a candle. Understood. Oh. I need you to report to the VDNH at once, B3. We've got bigger problems than Petrov to deal with. What could be worse than Petrov? Stockhausen will debrief you at the VDNH. Hurry. Time is of the essence. I see. Do I make okay. myself ah. clear by the Ten-four wizard. Moving out. Oh, man. Oh, my God, I love it. more. So let me find another one. Activate the birch tree. Okay, 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 okay. I need another one. There we go. from the candles isn't sufficient to power the main gate but installing them activated a system that provides special polymers to the birch tree life support system the life support system has four primary functions maintaining optimal temperature illuminating insects in other words four columns four canisters Holy 
shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead... Charles, I'm in the hot shop. Am I gonna turn into a crispy critter if I stay in here too long? No, the laboratory tables in the hot workshop or thermarium require high temperatures. But the temperature within the shop itself is quite comfortable. Major weapons or I need guns, lots of them. What is the point of that? Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up.
sons of bitches. Let's dance, baby. Woo! Just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here. But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Hey, girl. Remember to save the results of your experimental hmm? data and clear oh, your yeah. at the end of your shift. You got some tacos, baby. That's a stream. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick, it hurts. Thanks for watching. A lot. It's taco time. <laughs> Boom, baby.